Hello and welcome to this video where I will be showing you how you can use the IK constraints inside of Spine. So I loaded up one of the example projects and you can find this project in uh, where you installed Spine in the examples folder. It's called Raptor. And in this project I have a total of nine constraints. I'm just going to show you a couple of them. We have four constraints down here at the, the feet. Uh, you can see these red dots here. And then I have a constraint here for the stirrup, I have a constraint for each foot, and I have a constraint for each hand. And what this allows me to do is for these, uh, for the raptor's feet, I can move the hip around, and you can see that the feet stay in place. I can rotate the foot here to give it a nice bend while the, the feet stays planted. I can move it up. I can select the other constraint here, I can move it and uh, once again the, the foot stays in place. And up here on spine by himself I can move the hip and the hands and uh, the feet also stay in place. This also means that I can uh, take the head here and I can rotate it, move it back a bit and his hands stay in place. But instead of using this project, I'm going to take the spine board project, which is also in the examples folder. And I'm going to show you how to set up uh, IK constraints in that because it's a uh, far simpler project. Now, before I do any of this, the first thing I want to do is I actually want to move the, see we have the skeleton spine board, then we have hip. Uh, we've taken the root bone and changed or renamed it to hip. But I want uh, to be able to place a uh, constraint outside uh, at a higher level than the hip. So before I start creating the constraints here, I'm just gonna uh, create a bone here, put on some bone compensation. Then I'm gonna take these three bones here, move them up, rename the hip to root, and then rename the new bone to hip, then take the old hip bone, move it down, and then the new hip bone and move it up here. So now if I create a constraint it will be parented to the root which is outside of the, the, the main skeleton hierarchy. So to create the constraints himself I'm just going to select these two bones here and then click the constraints node, new IK constraint and you can see up here it says new IK constraint, choose target. Uh, what I can do is I can select an existing bone or I can just click out here in uh, empty space. I'm just going to click there, call it right ankle goal. And now if I move this around, see the leg follows. If I move the hip down, you can also see that the, um, the leg stays in place. Uh, I want to make this bone here stay in place, so what I can do is I'm just select this single bone and then now click constraints and then create a new one, call it right uh, foot tip goal, actually let's call, call it right foot goal instead. And now I have two goals, uh, I'm going to take the ankle goal make it a child of the right foot goal. So now if I rotate this bone here See, he, he does a little tiptoe action here. If I move this up, see it, it constantly points at this goal down here. Um, so if I want to lift the leg, I just take the this constraint here instead. But uh, s uh, since the foot is rather big, I, I would like it to actually bend in the middle. So I'm just going to undo what I just did here take this bone, make it a bit shorter, I'm going to put on image compensation, rotate this down and create a second bone here instead. And now um, on this bone I'm going to turn off inherit rotation, this means I can rotate this bone without uh, this bone here being rotated as well. I'm going to create my constraint again, just uh, put it right there, right foot goal just like like before and see I can 
Let's see if I move this around, the, the, the bone I created extra here is, is not rotating. So I'm just going to put the ankle again as a parent of the right foot goal and move this. See so now if I rotate it, it actually stays in place. I'm going to put on some bone conversation, try and center it a little better, like so. And then I'm going to select the image and turn it into a mesh. Let's edit and then create. I'm just quickly going to um, create a mesh out of this. Like so. Get rid of the edges here that I don't need. Like this go out of uh, mesh mode. And now uh, go into weights mode. Then pick these two bones here. Right click. Wait for it to calculate the weights. There we go. And now if I select um, this bone here, rotate it, you can see that it's deforming the image. This means now I can I can start doing some really cool things with uh, with this foot here. And that is uh, basically all there is to it. So before I finish this video, I just want to mention that um, we, uh, this is likely to be the last tutorial video um, on this YouTube channel. We'll be moving all future videos to a different channel. And uh, as soon as that happens, I'll create a video and make you all aware, uh, aware of it uh, and put a link to the new YouTube channel so you can follow along there. And we'll have new videos for every single feature in Spine um, pretty soon. Um, I'll be start starting work on them sometime uh, early next month and hopefully we'll have a bunch of new videos um, done for you with all the new features. So until next time, bye for now.